So today, I'm very excited to show you guys the new Tragopan V7. It comes in a slightly smaller bag than the V6. It's got an extra strap on it. So I can just put it around my shoulder, which is often how I want to carry the hide, unless I just strap it to my backpack. Another new item for Tragopan is the three-legged chair. Much lighter, so easy to just strap to a bag and take with you when you're doing a session in the hide. Let's check out the new V7. Now, fully erected here, it might look really short, but that is a new mechanism of how to set it up. So we're gonna extend the legs on the inside. It's got this strap in the middle here. If you had the additional room in the V6, the kind of structure of these doors sometimes might slide a little bit too far open. So this strap here in the middle holds the structure in place. All the other accessories for the V6 will fit this height as well, except for the new clip system on the doors and windows, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit. Now, for extending the legs, we come here in the inside and we're basically just going to hold the bottom part pull this up until it goes click you can see here this is where we can put it back down do that with each four now of course you don't have to extend it you can also have it lower and sit on the ground you can also only extend two of the legs and then you can have it stand straight up on the slant of a hill. You can see here, we got where the pegs go on the inside of the hide, which could be beneficial if you're thinking about moving the hide while you're on the inside. Unhook the, take out the pegs, lift it to move along slightly, to get in a better position. Some of the new additions to the V7 is that each of the four sides of the hide has a camo sleeve built into the window. The V7 also has a new clip system for all the windows, so it benefits from having much larger clips that are quite easy to attach and remove. Now, eventually, all the Tragopan hides will be updated with the new clip system, which I'm going to show you here in the V7. There's also going to be a three-door version coming out for the V7, so you can attach several hides to each other, which is ideal for holding workshops. These are the new clips, and I attach those to the actual poles in the tent. And these here are just to cover up um, these entrances even more so that you can open up windows, peek out, but you'll always have this little net in front of you or in front of your gear. So uh, just an extra double kind of layer of security for not being seen. So it just goes straight onto the pole. So as you can see here, this net will even hang down here. I can open up a bit more, have a look out. I still always have this sleeve in front of me, so I can look out, but very difficult for animals to see me looking back in the way. And that means that for all the different doors here, I can have a slight peak hole open, but always have this net hanging in front of me, so I can see out, but difficult to see in. All four sides has a built-in camo sleeve, so I can poke my lens right through here. There's also an additional sip up here, so I can open up to see a little bit more. Now for the whole window, there's almost like a little smiley face, but I can open up as well, and I can pull that down, which is similar to the kind of pulley system that's always been. But that, of course, opens up the entire window. You can see here, there is a loop on the outside, and there is on the inside. You can find this little hook to put it through, And that way, you really make sure that the entire window flap is out of your way when you want to keep it wide open. So that's when you need the thing that's here, in front. And up in front here, I've got the window sleeve, which covers the entire window, which is what I just opened on the side here. It's got built-in camo sleeve for your lens. And as a double up, you get four of these little covers, um, again with these little clips which I can then hang in front. It just doubles up this mesh, even more difficult to be seen from the outside, but it's still got big mesh holes so I can see out. Really beneficial when you have an entire window with camo netting, uh, now you double it up with that window. The fact that the entire window and all sides are sipped really helps to seal the hide, keeps you warmer if it's cold outside, and that also helps with the isothermic layer that is on the hide here. You can see the reflective surfaces here, traps heat that's coming off your body on the inside of the hide, 
uh, that way you can stay a bit warmer and it's really good if you're spending the night in the hide, which I often find myself doing. Keeping the hide sealed as well helps for keeping bugs out in the summer months. And it also helps for just sealing the hide completely so that you can use a torch inside the hide without it being seen from the outside. You get little strings to attach bits of vegetation. You get attachment for roof, guy wires to secure the hide in high winds. You got these air holes here. You can open them up. You can keep them open, supported. And you can do that from the inside by opening up this little window and close it if you need to. Handy little pocket to hide away string. Just so it doesn't sit in your face. <laughs> A great addition here to the Tragopan lineup, the Tragopan V7. Uh, right away, it just struck me as a hide that is really solid, and I have to say, I really like the new window system. Easy to attach and unattach. I also really like the big window that you get up front there, and the extra sleeves here to really keep you covered. I really feel like I have a really good view of all the windows here and I'm still really well hidden. So it's always best if you haven't introduced a hide to an animal to also cover it up with some extra bits. And I really like the ghillie blanket for that. That's what I'm gonna be using here to photograph the fallow deer. so many tall grasses here that the deer walk in between so I'm finding that manual focus is the way to go here and I use peaking which gives me that outline that shows me what is in focus so I use automatic focus here which is going to catch those little grasses and I end up with a ton of blurry images so yeah I really find manual focus is the way to go here this morning
Tragopan V7 will be available in late January 2024 on tragopan-shop.com. It is also available to pre-order at a 10% discount. So check out tragopan-shop.com now to pre-order the V7 to get your discount. In US and Canada, it is photographyblinds.com and it should be available later in 2024. You can also pick up the ultralight quail three-legged chair, 1.47 kilograms, and really easy just to take with you. Attach the backpack or throw it over your shoulder. So get a hold of this and the V7 now on the website. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.